Only on Eyewitness News, Rhode Island's first all-female honor flight. The Rhode Island Fire Chief's Honor Flight Hub is dedicated to bringing local veterans to our nation's capital so they can see firsthand the memorials dedicated to their service. And I had the opportunity to travel with 44 female veterans, and what they encountered was a reception fit for heroes. This is Honor Flight Victory Story. He's all excited about going. <laughs> It started with a bus ride to the airport to be showered with affection. We're on the plane at Green Airport. We're headed to Washington, the first stop at the World War II Memorial. Come on, let's share it! The first person greeting them off the plane, Lieutenant General Nadia West, the 44th U.S. Army Surgeon General. In fact, if it weren't for these women, I would not be here today. Uh, they broke barriers. Beautiful! You're beautiful! As we hit the dusty trail and those arms go rolling along. Oh, we are Visit one, the World War II Memorial, waiting for them, retired senator and decorated war hero Bob Dole, who at 95 still has a sense of humor. What do you think when you see all these female veterans coming here? Well, I think it's great. And I didn't realize so many in Rhode Island. It's but, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Must have brought all the women. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> yeah, I bet. After paying a visit to the World War II Memorial, now we're moving on to the Korean and Vietnam War Memorials. Sharon Lee Zippor is an Army Vietnam vet and comes from a military family. So Sharon, the Korean War Memorial means a lot to you, right? Yes, it does. It brings tears to my eyes. You lost your brother yes. in Korea. Yeah, he's 20 years old. He was missing three years in action before they found his remains. Every knock on the door, every drive in the driveway, my parents jumped and everything. And when they did get word, it was a telegram. Nobody came to the door and, and no counselors or nothing. Heartbreaking situation. It was. First time I saw my mom and dad cry. Jeannie, you served in the Vietnam War era. What does it mean to come here and see the names on the wall? It means a lot. Half of my class, men in a uh, high school class, all joined the service and got drafted and they all died. The people that are here just hanging on to their names, just hanging on, being able to touch the names is like touching them. What an honor to be amongst all these wonderful women. If it weren't for the women that stepped up in, back in the 40s, Till, till today, we wouldn't be the country that we are, and we wouldn't be the military that we are. After a wonderful day in Washington, D.C., we're heading back home, but these local heroes have a great surprise in store for them. A hero's evening, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard flight 3416. <laughs> think about this welcome home? Oh, I loved it. Are you kidding? It was just a wonderful experience. We're always soldiers and we stay soldiers. It's so emotional. It's unbelievable. I love you girls. <laughs> we all we all together. Truly emotional scene returning to green. Now coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, a tribute to local veterans killed since 2000 in a solemn visit to Arlington National Cemetery. The bravest of the brave meet the local women who fought for our freedom. Only Eyewitness News travels to the nation's capital for a special tribute. And I had the opportunity to travel with a first ever all-female Rhode Island honor flight. 44 veterans ranging in age from 35 to 95 visiting the memorials dedicated to their service. And new at six, remembering local soldiers killed in the line of duty and powerful visits, including one at Arlington National Cemetery. This is Honor Flight Victory Story.
Honor Flight Victory, being greeted at the World War II Memorial by Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed and retired Senators Bob and Elizabeth Dole. After 9-11, we appreciated the dangers that we faced and the brave men and women that were taking us. What an honor to, for me today to meet these heroes, what they've done for this country, protecting our freedom and our security. And this is a part of the history that must be preserved. After several stops, the Marine Memorial. Why is this memorial close to your heart? Well, number one, I was a Marine. I think it's important that we never forget those who sacrificed everything for us. Nancy Perney remembering six local Marines who made the ultimate sacrifice since 2000 and the person who shaped her life. They all have white roses and there's one red rose for my dad who was a Marine and he was the first Marine that I ever loved. This has been a tremendous day and I'm so grateful that I get to honor these Marines that sacrificed so much, especially fellow Marine Corporal Holly Charette. Our trip has made several stops, including a memorial for Iwo Jima, but now a more somber visit, Arlington National Cemetery. It is requested that we remain silent and standing during this ceremony. The two oldest honor flight veterans of the trip, Rosie DeRochers and Madeline Gray, laying the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. A vivid reminder, not all soldiers returned home. Rosie served in the Coast Guard, Madeline in the Army in World War II. Both are now 95, Madeline still wearing the shirt she wore on the final day of her enlistment. My two bars, I still have them, and the caduceus is new, and this was on my husband's uniform. So if you didn't leave, would you have been a general someday, if you didn't leave the... <laughs> I wanted to be. You wanted to I be said a I was going to be the first woman general. Activist Rosa Parks once said, each person must live their life as a model for others. On behalf of a grateful nation, thank you. Women played a very integral role, an important role in any job that they did, whether it be combat or not, very, very important. No question. I want to thank videographer Johnny Valella doing a great job again this year. Also want to ch thank uh, Chief uh, Farrell from the Rhode Island Fire Chiefs Honor Flight Hub and the General Federation of Women's Clubs of Rhode Island. It was just a great event. You know, we look back at the Honor Flight story you did last year and we were talking about the differences between that story and this one. I said at 5 o'clock, the, the feeling of patriotism the, the just American pride you see in these women's faces, it really touches you. Yeah, and when they came back to the airport and the celebration, they were celebrating, but they were also remembering those who passed away. It was a unique combination. Now, we couldn't put everything in this story, so you can go for an exclusive web-only content. You're going to hear from Elizabeth Dole. She talks about wanting to build a uh, memorial down in uh, D.C. for women. Oh, wow. And uh, Susan Luz, whose father-in-law was one of the original band of brothers that um, I know many people saw on HBO. We talk uh, exclusively to her, so it's uh, pretty good. By the way, if you know a veteran that would like to take an honor flight or you'd like to sponsor one, all you have to do is go to our website, WPRI.com.